Okay, in an experiment on the photoelectric effect, the following data were collected. Okay, uh, so these are, are the information given. We have the wavelength, we have two kind of wavelength. Uh, we can, we have, uh, let's say this is the wavelength 1, this is the wavelength 2. Okay, and this is the stopping potential for wavelength 1, this is the stopping potential for the wavelength 2. Okay. Uh, ah, remember, you see here, this is very important. Look at the unit. Always check the unit. Check the unit. Check the, check the exponent. Yeah? Uh, like previous example, you must check the exponent. You see exponent, exponent. Uh, these are the things people careless. Okay? So, please check the unit. This is in nanometer, not in meter. Okay? So, when you substitute into the equation, you must convert all to SI unit. Yeah? Uh, nanometer so this one in volt uh, volt is already SI unit okay now I want to find the uh, maximum velocity maximum velocity of the photoelectrons photoelectrons uh, when the wavelength of the incident radiation is uh, 350 nanometer which is the first wavelength lambda 1 okay so uh, we use the wavelength 1 we use the wavelength 1 and we want to find the maximum velocity. That means this is the this is the V max. Uh, this we need to find the V max. So how to find the V max? Uh, we will need to find the K max. Uh, to find the K max is related to the stopping potential, isn't it? Uh, so uh, so you, you want to find the V max here. You see here you need to find V max. You need you need to find the maximum kinetic energy. To get the maximum kinetic energy is related to the stopping potential. So stopping potential is already given there. Uh, for 350 nanometer, the stopping potential is 1.7. Uh, okay. So okay. Now wavelength is uh, convert to SI unit meter. This is the value exponent negative nine. So now why we want to find the first we need to find the K max uh, by referring to the stopping potential. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, electron, remember, uh, this one all, uh, this one all, we just ignore the negative sign. Both of these are, they are actually negative value. They are actually negative value. Uh, both, both, we ignore, ignore the negative sign for, for calculation. Okay? Uh, yeah, what I'm saying is, uh, we know that electron charge is negative charge. But we ignore the negative sign. Yeah, just ignore the negative sign during calculation. The stopping potential is a reverse potential, reverse voltage. So it's also negative value, negative value. But we also ignore the negative sign just for calculation. Okay. Now, uh, okay, let's calculate. So electron charge uh, is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, we just ignore the negative sign in front. The stopping potential also we ignore the negative sign. We just put one point seven. We don't put one point. Uh, we don't put negative one point seven. Yeah, just put one point seven. Okay, uh, just ignore the negative sign, and for calculation. Okay, so what is the K max? Uh, do you get the K max? You get is. Uh, do I have the K max with me? Yes. Uh, after I uh, multiply, I get this is uh, two point seven two exponent uh, negative 19 uh, you can check my answer you can punch your calculator by yourself and see whether the calculation is correct yeah verify my answer now uh, let's look at uh, we want we got the k max already we can find the v max using the half mv square all right so just substitute inside uh, the value you calculated 2.72 exponent negative 19 that is for kinetic energy uh, which is equal to half. Okay, using mass of what? Uh, we are talking about electrons, isn't it? We are talking about electrons. Electrons uh, is mass of electron. Uh, using mass of electron. Mass of electron is... Uh, uh, you can get the mass of electron also from least of constant, uh, which is 9.11 exponent negative 31. Uh, that's the mass of electron. We got mass of proton, mass of neutron, mass of electron in the list of constant. You can get all that value from there. Okay, so uh, and then multiply by V max square. Uh, so from here we can get the maximum velocity. Uh, once we know the maximum kinetic energy, we surely can find the maximum velocity of the electron. 
So let's uh, find out the answer. Okay, remember there is a square here. Huh? Remember there is a there is a square here. Uh, there is a square here. Uh, v max square. It's not just V max. Okay, uh, don't forget. Uh, you need to after you calculate, you got the answer. You must uh in uh what uh, what what do you call this? Uh, just um uh square root lah. Just square root the answer. And finally, you get the V max. Uh, v max is equal to what's the answer? The V max is um uh seven point seven three seven point seven three exponent. Um, exponent 5 exponent 5 meter per second ah that's the speed that's the maximum velocity of the electron uh, maximum velocity of the electron okay now uh, good okay so uh, that's the answer maximum velocity now what is the determine the value of Planck constant from the above data Planck constant uh, what is Planck constant Planck constant is H uh, Planck constant is actually H. Uh, we need to find the H value. Actually, we have the H value already uh, in the list of constants, 6.63 exponent negative 34. But this question seems like want us to find the value H itself. That means it assumes that it don't, doesn't know the value of H. We, we cannot substitute the value 6.63 exponent negative 34 inside this question uh, because he wants us to find the value of H itself. Okay, so let's find the value of H. How do we find the value of H? Uh, we now what we have is the maximum kinetic energy. We have the maximum kinetic energy. We have the stopping potential. Uh, we have the wavelength. Okay, we have the wavelength. Um, and uh, we we don't have the work function. Uh, we don't have the work function. We don't have the H. So that means uh, we have, but we have two values. We have wavelength and one and wavelength two. That means we can do simultaneous equation uh, for this photoelectric equation. E equal to k max plus work function. So E is the energy of incident photon because it's using wavelength. Uh, so we uh, E we we don't use the E equal to h hf. Uh, instead, we use uh, h c over lambda. Because it's not give frequency, it give wavelength. So we use HC over lambda. Okay. Uh, from there, we can get the, the H later on. Okay. So we have two wavelengths. That means we need to do simultaneous equation. Uh, so for the H, we does not know. We does not know, but we uh, the speed of light is 3 exponent 8. Okay, let's substitute first. So the wavelength here, uh, wavelength for number 1 is uh, 350. Remember, um, all must change to SI unit, nanometer go to meter. So it become this one exponent negative, nano is negative 9. Yeah, negative 9. Okay, this one income meter already. Um, equal to uh, then electron charge. Uh, electron charge. Actually, for the first case, we already got the answer, isn't it? The EVS, the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy, that's what we got already. The electron charge multiplied by the stopping potential, we got the 2.72. And uh, we got it 2.72 for the first case. Uh. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, this is uh, 2.72 exponent uh, negative 19. And then um, plus work function we don't have. We don't have. Uh, it's not given. Work function is not given. So uh, we need two equations because we have two unknowns here. We have the h and the work function here. We cannot just solve it. We cannot solve it. Because you want to find want to find the Planck constant h, uh, assume we doesn't know the value is six point six three, but we need to find the value of six point six three by ourselves. So we does we cannot substitute h with six point six three. They cannot find h anymore. Uh, so we assume we don't know h. We and we also don't know the work function. So we need two equation to solve these two unknowns. Okay. So um, so we can take this as the first equation. The first equation, then now uh, the second equation is uh, H. Uh, okay, I also substitute uh, this one, speed of light. And the wavelength is uh, 450 nanometer. Nanometer is uh, negative 9. Uh, negative 9. Uh, then uh, this one, EVS, uh, electron charge times stopping potential. Electron charge is... Um, 
electron is 1.6 exponent negative 19 that, that's the electron charge and stopping potential stopping potential is 0 0.9 0 0.9 volt okay that's good uh, then mod plus uh, work function ah so we got two equation uh, we can do the simultaneous. Okay, we can find the simultaneous. Uh, so uh, simultaneous. Um, I don't have the space here. So uh, we do simultaneous. Uh, we can do. Uh, 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 maybe we minus these two equation, and then we can get the value of h after simultaneous equation. Uh, I don't do over here, but you can do yourself. Do the simultaneous equation, and you surely can get the value of h. So the value of h is actually. The value of h is actually um, okay. Let me see. Yeah, the value of h is six point seven two uh, exponent negative thirty four uh, joule second. Ah, the unit is joule second. Ah, uh, joule second. Don't think that oh, this is a constant value. Uh, many stu many students think oh, h is a constant value. So no unit. Ah, this is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. Ah, so even us uh, now this constant has a unit. Uh, don't don't just ignore the unit here. Uh, if you ignore the unit here, uh, then you are wrong. Okay. Uh, so constant value. It uh, this H Planck constant, even though it's a constant value, it has unit. Uh, it has unit. Uh, so to know how to find if you forget about this uh, unit you can find also by yourself uh, we know that energy is equal to hf isn't it uh, hf or hc over lambda right uh, so we can find the unit for h uh, for h so how to find the unit very easy uh, we know the energy is a uh, joule we know the frequency is uh, per second because it is a uh, we know we learned before frequency is one over period, isn't it? Uh, one over period. So uh, the period is actually second. So the unit for frequency is actually um, okay. Come on, the unit for frequency is actually per second. Do you see that? Uh, so the unit for frequency is per second. Uh, per second. So um, let me yeah. I just want to change this all to red. Okay, so how to find the value, the unit for, for H? Uh, how to find the unit for H? Very easy, isn't it? Uh, so the unit for H is, uh, uh, we can say it's uh, H equal to E over F. Uh, first, we make it into the other place. So the unit for uh, this one is, um, the unit for it, for H, for H is actually Joule, energy is Joule. Uh, the frequency is per second. So per second go to the top become second. Ah. So that's why the unit for H, unit for H is joule second. The unit for H is joule second, joule second. Isn't it? Joule second. Ah. Okay. So uh, uh, if in the list of constant, the value is 6.63 exponent negative 34 joule second. So it is almost the same lah. 6.72 and 6.63 is almost the same. It's almost the same. Uh, important is the exponent must be correct. Okay, negative 34. Okay, so that's all for our the question. This question. Okay, see you in the next one.